I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. Playing solitaire is a little tricky. You have to be able to compartmentalize your decision making. Pretend like you don't know what's in the other player's hands. Otherwise, you'll skew the outcome of the game. If you can play with compartmentalized decision making, there's much that can be learned in a game of solitaire. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand, identify the strengths. Hopefully we'll be able to pick out a category to play, maybe even a hand. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. Look at all these flowers. Anytime I have flowers like this, I think about addition. We have one five. We do have a one, we have eights, but here we have a pung of three bams. Maybe we should play a quint. We do have a joker. There's a quint with four flowers and north. Quint of number tiles. The addition hand that uses fives and eights might be a possibility too. Five, eight, 13, five, eight. Let's keep the addition tiles. We might be able to play a mixed suit with 13. We could pass these and not have to decide on a one suit or mixed suits. Let's just see what happens. Let's look and see what we can do for player two, also known as South. pair of flowers, three green dragons, pair of twos, seven, nine, then dot singles. So here I would build around these. If we can get a one bam or a three bam, we could play consecutive. Or if we get evens, we could maybe even play an even hand with dragons and use these for joker bait. So let's pass. I think it's six one half dozen the other here. Either one of those would have risk. Consecutive, three, six, nine, evens, consecutive. So let's look and see what we can do for player three, also known as West. Here we have a Joker in East, three white dragons, one in dots, three, four singles, then we have five cracks, including a pair. When I have those dragons, I think about the big year hand. We would have to sacrifice a joker. 
The other thing I was thinking is maybe we could play like numbers with sixes if we get sixes. Therefore, I would pass those three just by process of elimination. Either like numbers with sixes or the big year hand in the singles and pairs category, the last one, and then sacrifice the joker for the big hand. Let's see what we can do for player four, also known as North. For this player, we have Flowers, West, Pairs, Single Dragon, Four Dots, Two Bams, Two Cracks, Singles. Since we have a pair of flowers and a pair of wests, I, th I would think about a wind and dragon hand, specifically east and west with evens. That would be wind and dragon hand number five. So let's keep the two, eight, six, and four. See if we get a hit. Pass one of each suit. Winds and dragons maybe east and west with evens everybody's ready for the charleston we're going to do first right we're thinking about a quint or addition we got a five five eight thirteen let's give up on the eight crack this is a little risky because it's consecutive but at least they're one of each suit so we're between a quint and addition five eight thirteen we've got a four two four six eight potential we did pick up a nine. Anytime you get a multiple, reassess. This is a little risky, one, three, but the eight, even though it's the same suit, there's only one hand that this would work with, and that would be addition in one suit with a five. So I would consider passing that. Here, though, we have two nine. There are no year hands that use multiples like this with flowers. So I think what I would do in this case is probably keep the four for two, four, six, eight potential and still focus on consecutive or maybe keep a one and a nine for the very first year hand. Let's see. Even still, this is not the right number. We need two crack, two zero one nine in cracks, then a one dot and a nine bam. Since the two four six eight hand with flowers is one suit, no dragons, we'd have to throw this away. And then the one suit with dragons under evens doesn't use flowers so let's give up the four we're between a year hand and a consecutive hand if we can get a one bam or a three bam and that particular hand would be number five under consecutive run we've got a six like numbers with sixes We could also maybe do like numbers with fours, but we have a multiple there. Let's pass the one. Focus on like numbers with sixes. We could maybe fall back to a year hand. We wanted to pair up and we got an east east and west with fours east and west with fours 
we need a four bam or a four dot right now there's a gap but that's okay i think i would keep the dragon because there is an east and west with dragons third hand down i try to keep every tile for the category so let's pass Let's pass those three. Three six is a little risky, but so is two three eight, two eight, two three. If we did two eight with a six, there's a hand in two four six eight that would use those tiles. Fourth hand down. Eight nine would be risky. Nine two six, that would be risky for a year hand. There's always some level of risk you just want to minimize it as best you can so maybe this would be okay so we did the first right now we're going to go across so we are looking at 8, 5, 13, or North Quint with threes. Let's just pass those on. Here we were doing, oh, we got the three. Two, three dragon. I would say that is a done deal. I would commit. No gaps. Again, this is the fifth hand down under consecutive run. So let's break that up. Let's pass those three. We got a year tile. We have tiles to pass, but this would be a terrible pass if we get sixes. Let's break up the nines. Pass those. These are two reasonable passes. We got a four, no gaps, east and west with fours. Let's break up these dots. We'll do two, eight, green. Three, nine, green would be risky. Two, three, green would be risky. Two, nine, green. All of them have equal risk. So let's do... Oh. All right, let's do those. I really would rather not pass those, but that's a pass away. Maybe we'll get another tile. We can break it up a little. Another tile not to keep. I mean, I'd rather get keepers, but let's see what we can do. We went across. Now we're going first left. no keeper oh wait yes we did look okay so there's another multiple i say we play addition let's keep the three for joker bait if you want to know more about joker bait there are links in the video description below to some videos that i made on how that works you hold on to him and later in the game you discard one on your next turn. If someone makes an exposure with a joker, you can make an exchange. We'll see if it happens. We got a four, two, three, four, three, four dragon. We could pass those. We want, oh, we got a green dragon. That's a keeper. Like numbers with sixes and dragons. Let's pass one of each suit. We got another four. We have an option. Everybody has three tiles to pass, so we're going to keep going with the Charleston. So this is the optional Charleston.
no keeper here. We need a one bam and pair up or build up. We need pongs. Let's just pass those. Wrong three. We do have two four. If we get six eight bam, we could maybe play that dragon hand under evens and then use these as joker bait. I think the best play here would be two three dragon. No keeper. We could maybe make that a little better. Mm, that's kind of risky. No matter how you slice it. That would be terrible. Mm. <laughs> no matter how you slice this, it's going to be risky. All right, let's just do that. No keeper, we need fours. Let's pass those three. So we did second left, now we're going across. We got an eight. Wow, this hand is set. We can Kong, 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 ready to win on a one bam. I think we could go ahead and break that up at this point. This addition hand is set. That means you can act on each block by calling a discard or drawing it. No keeper. We did get a six though. Two, four, six, eight with dragons. This would be a little risky pass, but we have options here now. We needed a six, specific number. It's a bit of a challenge. We wanted fours, same thing, like numbers, specific number. We went across, now we're going to do last right. No keepers. I would pass those. Oh, we got a three. Okay, I would give up on two, four, six, eight. Two, three, dragon. No gaps. Maybe pass those three. No sixes. No fours. Everybody has three for optional cross. We want a one bam. We got a one dot. I would discard those. No keepers. These are all discards. This is looking good though. No gaps, no gaps. Five discards, that's not such a good result. Let's see. We need a six band badly. Pairs, pungs, Kong. Ish. Six bam up here. We need fours. I would discard all those. The race is between these two players at the moment. We're done with the Charleston. We'll discard to get started with North. 
I'll use this to mark whose turn it is. We got a four dot. Let's get rid of year tiles. Nine crack. If I'm not playing a year hand, or maybe odds for this year, I get rid of the year tiles first. Year tiles and wins. Primarily because of the year tiles go for the biggest hand on the card. If I can sabotage that hand early, then I, I take that off the table. It, for wins, they're not played as often, so the potential to make an exchange for jokers with wins isn't as great as number tiles. So I like holding number tiles. Let's draw. We got a six. We need six bam. Or we could maybe use these for the pairs, sacrifice the white and use this for six bam. Maybe if it doesn't come in on its own. Let's get rid of your tiles. Nine bam. Joker. That is helpful because we need to Kong these fours. Nine bam. Red dragon. We do not need that. Let's just hold that and get rid of year tiles. Nine bam. We got an east. Let's get rid of the year tile. Winds will go next. We've got the six. No gaps. Very nice. Nine dot. Now this player leapt up. I'd say it's neck and neck. Really, this player's not bad off either. If we can get one more four in here. We got a two. These are all year tiles. Let's get rid of the one. Well, this is not a year tile. Seven crack. Let's discard one dot. We'll get rid of the green dragon next. Two crack. We have a two three. Let's just hold that. If we get a three crack and a red dragon, maybe we could play a pair hand. Two three pair hand. Second from the bottom under singles and pairs. Let's get rid of the wind. East. Seven dot. Six seven six seven. Six seven six seven. We have a joker. Let's let's get rid of eight crack. We'll just keep the consecutives for a minute. We'll turn it upside down. Long shot plan B. East. That was a nice keeper because those are pairs. All we need to do here is pair up and Kong. Let's get rid of two bam. Here we're not ready to Kong. So we have to let it go. Down here, we need to draw seven dot. Let's get rid of the red dragon. Seven bam. Discard. Four crack. Up here, let's Kong. We need to pair up here, but that's all our, we need to focus on right there. That's it. Let's discard six bam. This is concealed. One crack. Well, let's keep, well, we have a, we have a, a pung here. Let's go ahead and discard seven dot though. 
I was thinking there's a potential for 5, 7, 12. <coughs> Red Dragon. Okay, that's interesting. If we can get a 3 crack. Let's discard 7 dot. We got a four bam. There are two seven dots out now. Let's discard the seven dot. It's only four of every tile. And if that was going to be a pair hand, it's so early in the game. I don't know. I don't think the likelihood of them getting that other seven would be very good. So let's just focus on like numbers, which is concealed. Flower. We only need a pair. Let's just hold it to dot. Maybe someone will put an exchange, uh, an exposure out with a joker and we can maybe get a joker. Let's draw. West. Seven bam, that's out. North. Winds sometimes are like placebos. Just get rid of them. They make no difference. Sometimes. If you're playing a wind hand, of course they're not. They're needed. Red dragon. Discard. That's a keeper. So we're real close here. Well, I guess we could put them here. I don't usually earmark the jokers, but somebody asked for me to put them where they would go. So I guess we can do it. We wouldn't really need it here because we can make that one pure if an eight dot goes down. We could use it here or here if someone throws a flower. That's why I like to usually just keep them up here. Because we can use them here, here, or here. Why move them around? It's just a thought. Let's discard three bam. This player needs it, but they're not ready. You have to be able to complete an exposure, and we're not ready. So that was the last tile in the second wall. We're going into the middle game now. Everybody should know at least what category they're playing. Here, we're playing addition, five, 8, 5, 13, mixed suits. Here, we're playing 2, 3, dragon, consecutive run number 5. Here, we're playing like numbers with 6s. That's like number number 2, concealed. And then here, we're playing east and west with 4s. And we have no gaps, but singles. That's the challenge there. Two crack. Wow. This pair hand might actually work if we can get a three crack. Let's discard four bam. This player's not ready for it. I would downgrade that four. Let's draw. Three crack. We don't need that. Seven bam is out. Four bam probably can go next. So seven bam was discarded. One bam. Ear tile. Down here, we're not ready for it. We can't take it. You cannot call for a single tile unless you're ready to win, and we're not. There's joker bait. We'll hold that. Let's discard one crack. Two dot. Three crack. Joker bait. Let's get rid of the three dot. Nine crack. Six dot. This is concealed. 
south placebo three dot we just discarded that nobody wanted it okay we need jokers or fours badly whoops five dot be nice to draw our own joker back five dot Seven dot, that's out. Five bam, no. Four dot. Their fours are going down. We're going to need jokers. Two crack. One crack. Whoops. Ooh, that could have been disastrous. Ooh, nine dot. Eight crack. Four bam. Let's throw that. That's been thrown. And we've got tears being shed up here. Two dot. We're getting twos instead of fours. We're going to need jokers really badly let's draw oh we got a keeper look at that okay we're one away from ready seven crack we might even be able to do this pure we do have two jokers that's kind of a lot though let's draw nine bam oh this player was looking so good but they just are not drawing their tiles we do still have that potential for a pair hand though. We got a keeper. Finally, eight crack. We finally got a keeper. Okay, we need help right here. Six bam. That's the second six bam out. We need it for a pair. We might have to use this for pairs. Like that. Pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. Because there's only one more six. We'll see. We'll draw down here. We got the one bam. Oh my goodness. Seven crack. Now we're ready on a flower, eight or five. Because we can use these all over the place. Well, except for here. Let's draw north now we're heading into the end of the middle game so we're going to need to think about discarding joker bait and risky tiles one bam eight crack we're going to have to get rid of that flower nine crack you do not want to hold risky tiles going into the end game Oh, exchange, please. Thank you. Wow, we needed that really, really badly. I would give up on the pair hand now. Let's discard four dot. And this is not looking good. All the fours are out. They're going to need jokers. Let's draw. Seven crack was thrown. Three dot. Mahjong. Self pick. Addition. Put it in order of the card for validation. Flowers. 5, 8, 13. Self-picked, 50 all. This player couldn't get their number tiles. They were good here and here. And then they had a potential for the pair hand but drew the joker. So downgraded that pair hand. Here we were concealed. Sixes were not 
too bad the six bam was the risk but we could have used this for pairs discarded this and used this for the pungs they had a joker to help so they were two away not bad they kind of came up from behind then up here they looked really good at the beginning they had no gaps but they couldn't pair up and the fours went down they had a risky tile too I was going to discard that at the end of the third wall, which would have given this player Mahjong. Instead, they drew it themselves. If you want to practice decision making and you have a set of tiles at home, try playing solitaire. Be sure to compartmentalize your decision making and also look for a link in the video description below for the solitaire helper. Trust me, you can mess up that Charleston if you don't have that handy. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.